Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, now today I've got something quite interesting to show you. I was up in my parents' loft uh, last week, looking for some old stuff that I had when I was younger, and I found this box with a whole load of old sort of tech in it. Um, and what I thought I'd do in this video is just go through some of these items, show you them, see what's still working, and go through them, yeah. Let's get started. Right, so the first one I'd like to show you is this one here. Now this is a Oregon Scientific Electronic Organizer and this is the first organizer that I got. Now my parents got it for me um, well I think, I can't remember how young I was but they wanted to get me a calculator and they thought they'd get me this instead as like a bit of fun as well I suppose. So let's just have a little look. Um, these little ditty keys and things and it's got like a quick reference guide at the top because very complicated to use so you probably need that let's turn it on oh, I get a little beep there, you can see the screen's a little bit damaged and this says Wednesday 1997 1st of January so that's how old it is I guess um, unfortunately when I took the batteries out or maybe just because they've run out it's actually lost um, all the files that are on here um, but we can, I can show you through some of the functions. So we've got like a memo, which lets you store little notes. We could write, hello world, save that. We can look through, oh look, there's our memo. Um, we've got a alarm calculator, which is, I guess, the main function they got it for. Um, a netbook which is used to store like um I guess I guess the idea is email addresses. So if I put Dave and then I go maybe to the next page. Yeah, net address. Oh okay, so then you put your email address in and then a note. But I used to like this because you could um so if I do one, I go to the next page. Something, and then you, when you look at it. You go, Dave Hume, it's nice. <laughs> or whatever. Um, we've got a phone directory to store phone numbers. Um, and yeah, it was a really cute thing. I really had a lot of fun um, playing around with this. Um, but it's obviously pretty limited what you can do. It's only got one line of text and one line of number display. But yeah, great start. Um, so I had this first, and then I moved on to this one, which I got. Um, from I think I bought this one myself, maybe for my birthday or something. Um, so this is from Sharp. Um, he made a lot of organizers in the late 90s, 2000s. Um, this one has quite a lot of new features compared to the old one. So this one has 128k of memory um, compared to I think you know one or two k in this uh, in the first one. Um, it's also got a PC port through a sort of uh, small jack so you could sync data um, to the computer. Um, it's also got a lot more functions, a sort of bigger size keyboard, um, a backlight as well. Um, yeah, so let's, oh I need to put some batteries in, just do that. Oh there we go. Data has been impaired. Yeah, well it's been lost, so uh, clear all memory. You can see the display on this has got a bit damaged, unfortunately. Um, I think I can improve it through the menus. If we go to the menu, we scroll down to here, LCD contrast. Okay, we'll keep it dark. Um, okay, cool, so I'll just show you through this. So this is, if we go to memo, so this has got a, and we can turn off caps lock, this has got like a full um, uppercase, ooh, lowercase keyboard, new lines, and like special characters and symbols and oh hell symbol menu. I think oh man, I remember this. Huh. Well, that's like a little picture of a man there. Um yeah, so this has got a lot more functions. It's got a kind of calendar, which is quite cool. I used to do like little diary entries on here. Um it's got an email, telephone Websites or storage of, uh, of URLs and things, uh, clock, world clock, um, another calculator, and a sort of conversion thing, but you'd have to manually put in the conversion rates, I guess. 
Um, backlight doesn't seems to make it go crazy. Oh, let's let's not use that. Um, yeah, I used to really like this device mainly because um, of the sort of proper display. So I'd write like little games. Um, so I'd kind of create like a maze out of special characters on the screen, and then I'd sort of try and navigate through it using the cursors and like special things would happen. The sort of made I made up some rules so like if I ran into an exclamation mark, I'd have to go back two spaces or whatever. So that was that was good fun. Um, and then I sold this to my sister <laughs> when I got a new one to make a bit of cash, but I somehow ended up with it. So my dad then actually, I think it maybe at the same time, my dad got this sharp organizer, um, which he had for quite a while. And then when he moved on to, I think another one like a PDA or something, um, he gave this one to me. And then unfortunately, I actually broke the original one, this is when I was at school, um, I dropped it and it smashed in half, so then I bought this one off eBay, um, and this is my favourite organiser, so I'm excited to show you this. Yeah, so, this is more like a, a mini laptop, I'd say, um, I mean, it just, it just looks great, I think, um, I, re I really liked this organiser, um, when I was younger, I'd take it to school with me every day, um, it's got a lot of cool features, so let's power it on. So the first thing we have to do is set the contrast. Uh, see if there we go. That you can see it well there. Um, set the date and time, 2008. Yeah, sure, why not? Time and date are set. Now, this organizer belongs to David Hume. <laughs> now this is actually remembered um, all the files and everything because it's um, got flash memory. I think about 3 meg or so, which is quite cool. So I'll go through these sort of the coolest functions on this device. So you've got like a main menu and you can go through two different pages. So this is um, like the functions and then this is kind of like settings and things. So let's have a look at the memo. Now, unfortunately the arrow keys have actually broken on here. Um, so I can't use them, but we can go through the documents using the page buttons. So let's have a look at some of these documents. We've got accounts here. So this is obviously like money that I owe to my dad or various other people. Um, oh, new school mail. 2006. So, I'm writing this note in the discovery that the cursor keys no longer work very well. And this means that unfortunately this organiser is at the end of its working life. I've had it for many years, played with it, and it's been so many different places with me. I must now leave it, and in many years to come, I may come look back at it and think how I used it. Well, I suppose that's what we're doing today, so that's nice. Over ten years later. Um, let's have a look what's next. Please note that all mistakes in this file are from old org, which is this old organiser, and were not made up or corrected when the files were transferred to this organiser. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Um, Okay, so here you can see there's a ton of sort of random looking characters and things. So the this um, organizer allowed you to um, store programs and download them via the uh, computer connection from a website and instill them on the device, and then they could actually write data files to memo to store sort of like maybe like a high score in a game or something like that. So I think this is um, a, a sort of binary data for a program. Oh, uh, let's read me next. Let's try and get to that one. Skip past all this. Read me. Each day you must use this organizer for a max of 20 to 30 minutes. If you exceed this amount, you have broken the rule. Oh dear, we better, better not do that then. Um, and then, before you shut down this organizer, remember to do the following things. Make sure the accounts are up to date. Very accounting, very important. Um, check that the memory is no fuller than 50%. <laughs> Um, make sure you've entered a diary entry and ensure the alarm is turned off. Interesting. So let's, um, yeah, because I used to, if we go to the memory function here, I used to love like checking the amount of memory I'd used and make sure it wasn't over 50%. But obviously that's a bit silly because then you'd never use more than half the memory of the device. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so that's the, let's go to the calendar. Oh, this is cool. Let's see a bit what this is. On TV this morning, there were the last two episodes of Featherboy. 
they were really cool and a good end to the week. Well, there we go. That's uh, from 2005. Um, okay, cool. So, let's show the My Programs section of this. So, if I go to My Programs, this is where you could download and store programs. So, we've got Wizworm here, which is like a sort of snake clone. Oh, oh dear, I've died. That wasn't very good. Um, and this has got... Uh, let's see if the high scores are still here. High scores. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh wow, so... Who's Jay? I would have said my dad, but his middle name's not E. I don't know, but he's got a high score, whoever he was. Maybe it was Jonathan Hogg. Don't know. Um, Anna's got the next score. I'm not even on there, so that's a bit interesting. Um, oh, I've got a picture viewer. No pixel files found. I oh did. Um, loader. Oh, this is cool. So, oh, so it's kind of like it allowed because there was a limit where you could only have ten programs stored on the My Programs page. This allowed you to. It would store these files, I think, in like as binary data in the memo section, and then load them into memory. So you could store, you could get around the program limit and kind of have these run. So let's run. Oh no, I think it. I think it has to extract it. So if I press two, yeah. So it has to extract it to an existing um, slot. Maybe you can also. What if I do run? Oh, it does load it. Oh, okay, so you can run it like that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. Oh, Space Invaders. Oh, no, I didn't mean... I meant to just do run. Oh, wow, classic. Uh. Cool, um, I've got a paint program. Now I wrote this one. Um, so you could write programs in um, either C or BASIC and then transfer them to the device. Um, so I wrote this, so use it at your own risk. Um, sound on, yeah, let's keep it on. Start painting. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to use this properly because of the arrow keys, but yeah, I could. Um, I sort of did a little menu so you could insert like lines and draw things and then save it and stuff I think. What's on the file menu? Oh yeah, save and... Huh. So that's cool. Shut down? <laughs> I think it's because there was like a, a method to actually shut down the organizer and I thought that was really cool so I wanted to include that. Um. Oh yeah, so then there was this program here, um, base bacon or something, basic converter. And what this allowed you to do was write a basic program in, um, in as a memo, as a text file, and then it would like run it. So that was pretty cool. I used to write like little programs um, when I was in the car or on it, you know, out and about, and then run them on the organizer. That was quite cool. Uh, media player. What does this do? Oh, it's like um, you could write a song in a memo file and then play it. So this is my version of Packer Bell's Cannon. Lovely. And there we go. Oh, um, right. Now this was a cool, um, like a word processor. It got around a lot of the limitations of the of the memo function. Like you could only have memos so such a length. And I think this one. Oh yeah, you could do like symbols and maybe like spell checking and stuff, I'm not sure. But that was pretty cool, we used to write little stories and stuff on here. Um, and the last program I want to show you is Boulder Dash. Which was a game that um, I used to play with my friends at school and we used to sort of see who could get the best score. Oh, this is great. Unfortunately I can't play it because the arrow keys, but yeah. I'm going to have to die a few times I think. And there we go, game over. Cool. The other thing I wanted to show you was this manual um, for the Sharp Organizer, which I've still got. Um, you don't really get 
things like this these days with such kind of detailed instructions about how to use it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And if we go to the back, so 239 by 80 display, wow. Um, yeah, 3 megs of flash memory. Yep, some interesting specs there, if you're interested. Then after this one, I moved into sort of PDAs. Now I had another one which I've unfortunately sold, um, but then I got uh, this one here by Acer. Um, and this was really my last kind of PDA organiser before I moved on to mobile phones. So let's power this on and see if we've got any charge in it. Mm. So unfortunately I ran out, but not to worry, I'll get the dock. Yeah, so this came with a dock, which was quite popular at the time. We had like a USB stick on the socket on the back, a place to charge a battery and things. Let's just plug this in. Acer N300 handheld. Windows Mobile. Um, now this was cool because it had a touch screen. Um, it had like a sort of a lot more applications for it, um, had basic Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and things um, but it did start to feel a bit kind of behind its time because I think by this, when I was mainly using it, I think maybe the first iPhone had come out um, and there were certainly better, a lot of people, most people I knew had like a mobile phone um, instead and obviously this had, you know, you couldn't go on the internet unless you had Wi-Fi, it was, you couldn't use it with your, your fingers very well, you had to use a stylus um, Yep, so we've got our emails, we've got um, a calendar, we've got apps and stuff. Um, yeah, but you couldn't really use your finger, you had to use a sort of stylus. And it's quite slow. Oh, rat's flat. Oh, I can't hear anything. Where's the, I want to hear those sounds. Oh, wow. With the stylus, this is actually quite a good use for it. Oh dear. But yeah, great little apps like that. Um, a batty. Yeah, so good fun, but ultimately replaced by the devices. So I hope you enjoyed that look at some of those devices. Um, if you are a Sharp Organiser owner or you're just interested and you want to find out more, you can head over to my website. I'll put a link in the description below where I've got a post um, where I talk a bit about the Sharp Organiser I demo. And there will also be a link there to download the development kit and an emulator so you can write some of the programs and run them on your PC um, and I think there's also some some of the demo apps that I was showing earlier included there as well. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching today's video um, and I'll see you next time.